Hi everyone, thanks for being here this Thursday. It's also the 30th and next to last day of May. Uh, Weather-wise, we are still going to be in this very active pattern for not one but a series of cold fronts that don't show much of a sign of letting up. There's going to be some changes, but I'll elaborate more on that in just a few moments and we'll give you your latest outlook. I do want to say a couple of things before we get into tonight's programming. Due to yesterday's uh, breaking news and a lot of stories that we were hurried and trying to get on and omitting some other other parts of the program calendar and otherwise. One thing I failed to mention last night in regards to what was coming out in today's edition of the Sagersville Independent was the graduation tab, of course, focusing on our 138 graduates of the 2019 class of the McGough County High School. So a sentimental or historical reason to pick that paper up is if you didn't need another one, you might want to save that portion or all of the paper for that matter. I also have a camera at tonight's special session of the McGough County Fiscal Court, just across the street. That meeting starting now. I'll have a report for you on tomorrow's program. On tonight's, we'll talk about the now, we know, Pikeville man, his identity and services set in his honor uh, after he, of course, died yesterday in that downforce wind uh, that barreled it down on the city of Prestonsburg yesterday. Also, some more on a Prestonsburg man who turned himself into authorities. We now know uh, why he's accused of using an electronic device to solicit a minor, actually minors, in a sexual activity. And your calendar is back tonight. We couldn't get to it last night. A updated forecast uh, in just a few moments and a whole lot of other news and information that all begins right after a quick break. Did you know that with the IGA Personal Rewards Card, real people are getting really big discounts on gas? Just sign up at IGA, and from then on, for every $50 you spend on groceries, you get anywhere from 5 to $0.25 cents off on each gallon of gas you buy at VIP Fuels on the Parkway. This customer saved $1.75 a gallon, and some have paid only $0.10 cents a gallon for 15 gallons of gas. And it's quick because your points stack up. And most weeks, IGA has double, triple, or even five times the points. And they'll give you another 10 cents off every time you share your receipt on the IGA Facebook page showing you've saved. I'm Bill Tinker. I've spent the past 19 years defending insurance companies in car crashes, truck crashes, and slip and falls. Are you involved in a case like that? Is the insurance company giving you the runaround? about your medical bills, your benefits, or your lost wages? Contact me at McFarland Tinker Law Office. With our combined experience of over 58 years, we're here ready to work for you. Getting the best deal on the best tires with the best service has never been easier. Just log on to ConleyTire.net, check out the latest rebates, sales, and promotions, pick out the tires you want, and email, call, or come by. For huge savings from the family who's been proudly serving the area for over 32 years. Conley Tire in Staffordsville, 297-2424. Great and feel great with the very best in Versa Spa Spray Tanning and six of the most modern tanning beds in the business, including their 7-minute stand-up bed and 12-minute super bed with bronzing bulbs at Tropical Isle in Sagersville and Prestonsburg. And till the end of May, get 20% off of tanning packages. Come in or call today at Tropical Isle Tanning in Sagersville and Prestonsburg, open seven days a week. Join everyone at Hope Family Medical Center and Big Sandy Healthcare in recognizing May as Mental Health Awareness Month and Melanoma Month. Hope's Kimberly Davis is there to provide individual and family behavioral health and substance abuse services to help with stress, depression, dependency, or anything impacting your health and quality of life. And Hope is there to help you prevent, detect, and live by spotting skin cancer that affects millions of Americans each year with almost 10,000 people diagnosed every day. M stands for May, mental health and melanoma. And Hope Family Medical Center stands for you. Of course, you can always get guaranteed great deals this time of year on mowers and weed eaters and blowers, but right now at Parkway Gun and Pond, they've also got an incredible selection of hand and power tools, guitars and musical instruments just in, new and used, long and handguns, and ammunition and more with no pawn limits and cash today on anything you want to sell or pawn. Parkway Gun and Pond. 
Two reports, both updates and follow-ups from yesterday and earlier this week. The first is that of a Prestonsburg man who is jailed. He actually turned himself into Prestonsburg authorities yesterday afternoon. He's accused of texting or sending messages to not one, but two minors under his employ and then encouraging a third to lie for him to try to keep him out of jail. Bobby J. Blackburn, 26, of Prestonsburg, sits in the Floyd County Jail tonight for, so far, the charge of using an electronic device to solicit a minor. And with his arrest yesterday comes more information in regards to the arrest citation that we now have that sheds some light on the investigation that resulted in Blackburn being charged with using an electronic device to try to get a minor to engage in sexual activities. Prestonsburg police detail that they first received a complaint about a week ago on the 24th that he had sent a message via a phone or social network, what have you, to a minor that was employed at a business he owns asking her to recruit another female minor so they could all have sex together. And police also say that that initial minor was able to show them the messages on her phone or device that Blackburn had sent her making the request. And police also say that the following day when all this came to light, he convinced another minor, this is a third person, to go to the police station claiming that she was the one that used his phone to send those messages to those two other minors. However, police questioned her and she later recanted that statement and told her that Blackburn had threatened her with losing her job if she didn't go to the police station and give a false statement. As for the phone that he reportedly used, it has, according to his family, been thrown or tossed into a river not to be found. Meanwhile, Blackburn remains lodged in the Floyd County Jail. Blackburn, a Prestonsburg business owner, also a former pastor or preacher from what we can understand, uh, faces up to five years on that charge and may face additional charges as well. And next is the update from the storm that barreled down on Prestonsburg yesterday. We're talking about an estimated wind gust of 70 miles per hour following a very serious winds prior to, but it was one of those uh, serious bursts of wind that tore off the roof of a building as Kentucky now knows, and perhaps even more than that uh, in the rest of the world, and led to a Pikeville man's death. He has since been identified. Funeral services have also been set in his honor. Earlier today, the Floyd County coroner officially identified the victim as 61-year-old Michael W. Coleman who was, as I believe, going to get a meal with his fiance yesterday in downtown Pikeville when the roof of one of the buildings downtown, of course, was hit by an extreme force wind blowing that roof down onto the city streets and onto his vehicle. It as well fell onto other parked vehicles, but his injuries, which proved fatal, were the only ones sustained. His fiance, the other passenger in the car, was able to... Uh, be helped out of the vehicle or got out on her own. Regardless, she did so relatively uninjured. During storms that apparently put down down force or downburst winds in the estimate of about 70 miles per hour, according to the National Weather Service. That, of course, was also among torrential rains. Winds before that that had literally been opening and slamming doors shut down the business district of Prestonsburg shortly before. The building was, was referred to as the old Hawk Shop building and it was still being surveyed by an engineer to see if it was structurally sound at last report. Well, what I know about Coleman at this time was that he had been a 30 year or more than 30 year employee for the Pike County School System and had retired some time ago. He was 61 from Pikeville, survived by his fiance Patty Blankenship as well as his two daughters Candace Michelle Chapman and Amanda Don Coleman. I've got an announcement from our McGoffin County Senior Citizen Center due to a scheduling conflict that was out of their control. Uh, Senior Citizens Director Marlene Howard says that they will have to 
bump up the commodity day a week, this is the next week. So Thursday, June 27th uh, will be the day that commodities are given out for the month of June. That is a week later than they normally do, but they say it just could not be helped. Also, the center is going to be closed on June the 14th as they travel to the Worldwide Elder Abuse Awareness Walk in Martin County. I'll forward that on over to the community calendar and remind you right now, let's just go on over to tonight's community calendar for the rest of our announcements, beginning with this belated birthday. We'll start off birthday wishes tonight with a special 12th birthday, a day belated. That's on me. We had a busy day yesterday, and I couldn't get the community calendar all together. So, a belated, but still happy 12th birthday to Shelby Adler. Love mom and dad and mamma and papa. Chewy, family and friends, happy, happy 12th plus one to you, Shelby Adler. Going on to the rest of your calendar, the Ramey Park Pool opens in just a couple of days, this Saturday, the 1st, the pool is open for business. $3 general admission for kids and adults. Parties are available. Uh, you can rent the pool for such in the evenings and on Sundays, two hours for $175. Call 349-5102 if you have any questions about the Ramey Park pool schedule. And South McLaughlin Fire Department is having a big yard sale this Saturday morning starting at 9. Support your local fire department as they support their community and all of McLaughlin County and get a good deal on a lot of great items. Big yard sale this Saturday morning starting at 9 o'clock. And coming up in just a few days on June the 7th at the Paintsville Golf Course, the 23rd Annual United Way Golf Scramble. Of course, the United Way helping support entities here locally such as the McLaughlin County Rescue Squad and our McLaughlin County Senior Citizens. And they will start start play at 10 o'clock that morning if you have any questions call 791-9902 don't forget vacation bible school starts next week monday through thursday at the sagersville first baptist church church vans running each night any child under four has to be accompanied by an adult 5 45 to 8 o'clock nightly and in the wild amazing encounters with jesus the theme this year starting next week at the Sagersville First Baptist Church Vacation Bible School. And you need to get your child or loved one registered by this Saturday. They need to get their names in so they know how many to expect to get the t-shirts made for the big special needs summer blowout hosted by the Sagersville Masonic Lodge, North McGoffin Elementary, and a host of others who are going to make this another very special and just awesome day uh, for all of our folks here in McGoffin County and the entire area. All ages are welcome. There'll be superheroes, train rides, games, bouncy houses, something for every one of all ages, and it's all free of charge. But you need to RSVP by calling 424-6302. That's Paul Montgomery or any lodge member of the Sagersville Lodge. McGoffin County High School Class of 84 has their 35th reunion coming up June the 15th. Call Jody Adams or send her information at 3323 Burning Fork Road here in Sagersville, 41465. It's 50 bucks per couple, $35 per individual. And don't forget, camp's coming up. Basketball camp, that is, for boys and girls ages 6 to 17 here in McGoffin County, July the 15th through the 18th at the high school. 50 bucks per person or per camper. Uh, registration fee is, of course, uh, going to also include uh, all the basketball skills, offensive fundamentals, shooting, ball handling, individual moves, defensive fundamentals. The list goes on. I think they, of course, feed them as well. And you can contact us whenever you have a community calendar announcement, birthday, or anniversary, too. Does it cost anything? You just got to tell me so I can tell everyone else. Moving on to tonight's funeral service announcements provided nightly by the McGoffin County Funeral Home. 64-year-old Timmy L. Salyer of Patchell Salyer Road passed away on the 28th. Besides his father, he survived by his wife, Kathy Cole Salyer, sons Timothy James and Jeffrey Lee, and daughters Amanda Mann and Marsha Reisner. Visitation is tonight and then until services start tomorrow morning at 11 from the McGoffin County Funeral Home. While 59-year-old Sharon Gamble of Falcon has passed away on today's date, the daughter of the late Holly and Thelma Gamble, she survived by brothers Tony, Edgar, James, Holly, and Vernon Gamble, and sisters Donnie Talby and Brenda Sloan. Visitation will be after 2 o'clock Saturday. Services will start Sunday at 2 from the McGoffin County Funeral Home. And this message comes in loving memory of Marcella Keaton, with a lot of love from her five kids, grandkids, family, and friends. 
Check out this week's edition of the Sagersville Independent and get this coupon for a buy one foot long or one chicken sandwich deal where you can get the second one for only a buck. That's right, get the coupon and get a foot long or a chicken sandwich and get a second one for just a dollar. And here's a little hint, you can get the coupon at your Sagersville Lee's Famous Recipe. It's a no brainer and it's buy one get one for a buck on our famous foot long with chili or chicken sandwich. Appalachian Wireless has a question for you. Would you rather pay $650 or $66 for a smartphone? If you think this answer is simple, then the Appalachian Advantage plan is for you. Pay less up front for today's hottest smartphones, and then pay just a few dollars more every month on the monthly bill. Many smartphones are $5 a month or less after you factor in the $20 discount from the Advantage plan compared to the contract offering. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Payment agreement required. See store for details. At Sagersville National Bank, they know your house is much more than your home. It's an investment, and for many of us, the biggest we'll ever make. And whether it's for needed repairs and maintenance, or a new addition or renovation to give you some more room and more equity, let Sagersville National Bank deal with all the financial work and worry. Real and real competitive, hometown, homegrown, home improvement loans at Sagersville National. Just like that, we've jumped into the spring allergy season with all the buds and blooms, tree and grass pollen, mold, and all the nasal congestion, sneezing, itchy nose and eyes and throat that they cause. Don't get caught off guard. Protect yourself daily with a quick trip to Parkway Pharmacy for over-the-counter and prescription relief. And you can always log into parkwayfarmacy.com to have your prescriptions ready when you get there at Parkway Pharmacy in Sagersville. The seasonal shop is simply wall to wall, floor to ceiling, filled with new arrivals and more coming every day. Natural Life is in the store. It's a fun, uplifting brand of t-shirts, headbands, air fresheners, mugs, and more. And they've always got the latest and greatest designs from Simply Southern, including their new line of drinkware for hot or cold. And the women's spring and summer collections are simply amazing and ready to get you ready for the beautiful weather head to toe. And come in and check out their rewards program, free local delivery. They'll ship it to you. They're now accepting PayPal, and they've always got baby and wedding registry at Fraser's Prater Drug Seasonal Shop in downtown Sayersville. From brakes, exhaust, suspension, fluid changes, to expert collision and auto body, to turning your 4 before or diesel from mild to wild, get real auto maintenance, paint, and repair at Black Smoke Performance in Dixie of Sayersville. 3498785 Finances and the summer feeding program the two main topics of last night's McGoffa County Board of Education meeting will begin with the summer feeding program it's a very important and vital service to McGoffa County kids and families and of course this year it comes on the heels of a recent report that uh, according to numbers and statistics gathered by a group in Berea, say that Kentucky's children, rather McGoffin County, Kentucky's children, are the hungriest or have the most uncertainty in regards to their next meal. Well, school officials have known for quite some time that that indeed was a serious problem and it has been, and they have been trying to alleviate some of that with feeding programs like the one set for this summer, which was approved during last night's meeting. One of their very first orders of business in last night's special session was to approve the summer feeding program, which they are always working to expand on each year. As of right now, they plan on beginning this summer's program with three school buses used to deliver hot meals on three primary routes and two other locations in McGoffin County. And they've changed their location or base of operation this year where they will also be serving as well. We're going to operate out of one school this year, Sayersville Grade School, and that'll be our prep kitchen. And then it'll also be open during that time to feed if someone in the county come to that site and, and get a meal there. <laughs> Started June 10th. <clears throat> yep. And running through July 31st. Yep. If you don't mind, uh, we've got a meeting around the 18th or 19th of June. Can you let us know how the numbers will turn out at that meeting? Yep. As you heard, the program will start on June the 10th and go through the last of July but they will start feeding some students next week at the McGoffa County High School during the upcoming ACT camp that is scheduled. 
As for who's preparing the food, this year they have three food service employees. Bus drivers are also going to be helping to prepare and deliver the food as well. Hot meals, fruits, vegetables, a drink, all going to what will be hundreds of students throughout McGoffin County over the course of the summer. And looking ahead to next summer in a way to help expedite the program, keep food hotter longer and just better serve the whole area, Food Service Coordinator Andrew Oliver suggested that the food service portion of the school purchase two trucks, two delivery vans or vehicles, if you will, which would have warming and cooling stations that would allow them to essentially take the food directly from the oven, place into those vehicles, and then drive to the location and serve directly out of there, cutting costs, saving times, and getting students a fresher product. With the exception of the 4th of July, meals are going to be provided Monday through Friday at these sites and times starting on June the 10th. So they'll have three main routes which school, bu- which school buses will be traveling. Uh, one bus will be hitting College Heights at about 11.15, Allen Drive at around noon, then the Rainy Park at around 12.45. Another one hitting the Johnson Mobile Home Park at 11.15, the Falcon Trailer Park at noon, the Bloomington Subdivision at 12.45. A third bus going to the Royalton Trailhead there of the of the uh, Dawkins Trail at 11.15, the Half Mountain Park Shelter at noon, and the South McGoffin Community Center at 12.45. And they're also going to have a couple of locations which will be distributing lunch. The wonderful folks at the Lakefront Church of God volunteering to do so, and they will be doing that from 11 till 12 for one hour, Monday through Friday for, for the summer. And the Sagersville Grade School, which of course is the preparation site where all the meals are going to be cooked, is also going to open up their doors to anyone who wants to come and get a meal and eat there. And you'll be able to do so from 1130 until 1. If you've got any questions about the food program or the sites, contact the food service program at 349-6117. From there, much of the meeting centered around the discussion and ultimate approval of the tentative budget for the 2019-2020 school year, recognizing that the school system is going to start off the next school year with less contingency than they would like, but still above the state-mandated 2%, and they're also going to begin the school year with less startup capital than they would like, but did note that that's after spending perhaps more than $100,000 on HVAC issues and repairs throughout the school district this year that they don't expect to have to pay next year, even though they've left it in the budget. There are also going to be several positions which will see retirements, meaning they will be filled with lower salaries for the next few years, hoping that all of that will help offset some of their budget constraints, which includes about $137,000 less in SEEK funding. And of course, that discussion came after last meeting's discussion around attendance and how low attendance rates are also costing the school significant reimbursements each and every year. And a reminder, a camera right now at the McGoffin County Fiscal Court meeting and a report to follow tomorrow. Just a couple of quick updates in sports that I wanted to read through. Tried to get some information on how well it turned out, uh, but I only can find out that they were indeed there, and I knew that going in. But Jaden and Jenna Hackworth going on to state for the third year in a row uh, for this sit, this pair of sisters from the McGoffin County High School. Uh, we'll find out how they did soon and let you know. Regardless, they have represented McGoffin County well. Uh, since they have played tennis and they've been very successful at it. We wish them well. As for the 15th region softball tournament, Johnson Central ousted the girls from Pike Central 9-1 to and will go on to the state tournament. And as I told you last night, Johnson Central boys lost to Lawrence County 12-7, uh, to uh, the final score for that game. And Lawrence County and the Bulldogs will go on state. Let's go on to tonight's Licking Valley RACC Outlook. If you break up the country into two halves, western part, their temperature's high. Ours, cool. That's going to kind of reverse, but the pattern's not necessarily going to change a whole lot. All that conflict still going to produce showers and storms. Right now it's one cold front after another. We've in fact got another one coming uh, after the one that's of course given us showers and the real storms from yesterday. But we've got another cold front coming in later on this weekend and then i suspect we will see after the one late saturday by midweek another one that will give us more chances of showers and storms 
to sum it up tonight, showers, thunderstorms likely throughout much of the eastern Kentucky area, not all, but some before 3 a.m., mostly cloudy and a low of right around 62 winds on average out of the west, 5 to 7 miles per hour, but those two becoming calm. New rainfall amounts maybe up to a quarter of an inch, I think, at the most for anyone. For your Friday, more mostly cloudy skies, 76 as we do continue to cool off. Still westerly winds, 3 to 6 or so, and about another tenth to maybe quarter of an inch of rainfall tomorrow, just as far as the showers are concerned, unless you get under one of those thunderstorms that puts down a little more rain much more quickly. Tomorrow night, chance of showers thunderstorms continues to the tune of 30 percent up until about 10 o'clock friday night and then we should see at least partly cloudy skies clearing skies continuing giving us after a 59 degree nighttime low friday a mostly sunny saturday and that sunshine will help get us back just above the 80s at 81 degrees calm winds nice clear dry for your Saturday, and partly cloudy that night in 61. There's a 20% chance of showers, but we're talking about, I think, most after after most everyone is fast asleep and really on your Sunday morning. Now, those sh- shower chances do increase 40% by early Sunday. Partly sunny skies, 78 degrees is where we should be as we hit the 70s again. And we're going to stay there for a little run. Monday, drier and sunnier. But still, temperatures falling down to 74 for daytime highs, 52 that night under clear skies. Tuesday of next week, still holding on to the 70s at 78 and sunny. Uh, By Wednesday, 82 as the 80s make a return. But with that, yep, another chance of showers and thunderstorms. 30% Wednesday, 20% Tuesday, low 80s, low 60s for nighttime, well, daytime highs and nighttime lows. And that's a wrap for this Thursday. Thank you for watching. We'll wrap up this week on tomorrow night's edition of Your News Today. Good night.